Hello guys, welcome to episode 2 on how to install the Leap Engine. This time we're going to be doing it for the Airbus A319 by Tolis. Um, so, the first steps are basically the same. Download it, and then uh, 2K for lower end PC, 4K for higher end PC. I recommend 4K if you at least have a decent PC. Drag it onto your desktop. Um, navigate over to your Tolus A319 Neo folder. So I'm just gonna, I already have one, but I'm just, um, just delete it. I'm just gonna delete mine, just for the sake of this video. Just make a new folder, name it Tolus A, Tolus. A319 Neo. Then you would want to copy all the contents in the original A319 folder over to the new folder you just made. So, uh, over here, paste. Once well, that's doing its job, we go over here. We want to copy, we want to, um, copy this over to the, uh, directory folder of the A319 Neo. What I mean by that is we want to copy this into the A319 Neo folder, and then hit replace when it tells you to. So that's done, we copy this to over here, replace. And then now you're done with this. Um, I'll just move this to the side. Now what you want to do is open up your X-Plane directory. Go to the Plane Maker. And I'll talk to you guys when my Plane Maker is loaded. Once you're in Plane Maker, you will want to hover over Files, Open, and then this would pop up. Um, go over to Laminar Research or wherever you put your, um, Neo folder in. Uh, scroll down until you find the A319neo. Open up the A319.acf, open, and then... Once it's opened up, you should see something that's, that's like this. It looks messed up, but that's fine. This is just Plate Maker's fault. Hover over standard and you would want to click on um, MISC objects. Then we would want to uh want to look for uh we want to look for let me think would uh need to look for the engines engines that would be J right here. We want to copy this, the kill data ref. Copy that and then we want to delete engine.obj and then blade.obj. Now what we want to do is add, press the add button five times. One, two, three, four, five. Then scroll down until you start seeing the blank spots you added. Now we want to op press on the gray square thing Go to the objects folder of the A319. Um, you want to open first particles. Dot leap particles. That would be J. Open that first. And then we want to open leap left engine. That would be J. Leap engines. Leap left engines that would be J. These ones usually take a bit, okay? As you can see, the first one popped up. Then we want to open Leap N1 left that would be J. Leap N1 left that would be J. And then we would do the same thing for the right side. So, Leap right. That would be J. And then D 
the right end one that would be the Okay, after that is done, we want to, um, now we do the annoying and probably the hardest part, um, which is the coordinates. I'll leave this all in the description so you can, uh, use the ones in the description. So, for the leaf particles, they're all zeros. Then the leaf, uh, the left N1 and left engine will be... Um, positive 41.70, so, positive 41.70, positives up and negatives down, if you guys didn't know that already, um, and then negative 19.0, um, and then it'll be negative 6.60, so negative 6, Point sixty. Oops. Point sixty. As you can see, the left engine is mounted now. Now, the same for the N one. It's gonna be forty one. Point seventy. 9, negative, wait, that did, I did negative by accident, my bad, come on, 40, 1, point 70, and then negative 19, point 0, negative 6.60, Um, now we move to the right. The right shall be a po stain for the first one, positive 41.70. So, 41, oops, why did I do that? 41.70. Now instead of a negative this time, we go positive 19.0. And then negative six point sixty. Okay, the same uh, to the end one positive forty one point seventy positive nineteen point zero. Then negative six point sixty. And congratulations, you're done, basically. Now we, all we gotta do is do the leftover easy parts. Now... Below all the coordinates... Um... Hold on. Yeah, so below all the coordinates, you will want to paste the kill that data ref you copied earlier from engines that would be J. To all five of them. Make sure there's no spaces because you don't like we don't want that. Um now you will want to set the shadow modes for all of the objects except for the leap particles objects and the N1 fast objects to all views. So we would want to Set all the set the left and right engines that would be J to all views, and then and and then the N one left and right object files to prefill. So this prefill the all the N ones to prefill basically, and now we're done. Press X. And as you can see, we have our beautiful leap engines on the plane. 
Uh, now all we gotta do, file, save. Make sure actually go to author and just name this A319 Neo. And then save again. And then you're done. I'll talk to you guys once I'm in the game because I'm not really sure this works. So I'm gonna. Alright, I'm loaded in and I can confirm that it does work. As you can see, the beautiful leap engines are attached and working. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching uh, episode 2 of How to Install Leap Engine. Please subscribe. I see a lot of views, but no subscribers. Come on, help me out. I want, like, at least 5 subscribers. So, if you guys can help me out with that, I promise I'll be making more of these helpful tutorial videos so yeah thank you for watching like always have a good day uh, see